Hey there everyone! Today I want to teach you how to do six different watercolor techniques. After you have your paper prepared with your six boxes and the six different techniques written on each side, this is what you do. So the first technique is called rubbing alcohol and what I do to um, do the rubbing alcohol technique is I just paint watercolor inside of my box number one. And then I take my rubbing alcohol with a Q-tip, get it a little bit wet, and experiment. That is rubbing alcohol technique. The second technique is called oil pastel resist. And what I need for this is an oil pastel. I'm going to draw a heart with my oil pastel. Then I'm going to draw a smaller heart on the inside and color in that heart. Get my water on my paintbrush. I'm going to do pink this time. And this time when I paint with watercolor on top of the oil pastel, this is called oil pastel resist. And because water and oil don't mix, the oil pastel crayon will resist the water, which means it, it, will, um, it won't let the water go on top of it. So notice how you can still see the oil pastel. That's technique number two. Technique number three is wet on wet. So the first thing I do for that is get my paintbrush and paint the area where I want to do the wet on wet technique, which is this box. Basically, I'm just getting the paper wet. And then I'm going to put more wet into the wet. And it's going to create a bleeding effect. So I'm going to try the green. and I just touch and I watch it bleed. And I, I can make a streak. I can switch my color. That is called wet on wet technique. Technique number four is called pen and ink. And it's real simple. I just take a permanent marker and draw a shape and I use my paintbrush to fill in that shape. And because I'm using a permanent marker, the marker will not bleed. It will just stay on the paper. This is a great technique if you're trying to stay inside the lines because the Sharpie helps to create that boundary but be careful because if you seep over into that space, it will turn into the wet on wet technique. So that's where you have to be careful with that technique. Technique number five is called salting. And what I do with salting is I paint my area, all one color. And an interesting thing happens when we throw salt onto the water because salt will absorb water. So I have my little salt right here. I'm just going to pinch a little bit of salt and drop it on here. I 
and watch how that water is soaked up by the salt. And the last technique is called stripes, and it's just as simple as it sounds. I'm going to create stripes using my paintbrush, and when I press hard, I get a thick stripe. The less hard I press, the stripes get thinner. When I don't press very hard at all, the stripe is super thin. And one way to get your stripes super duper thin is to bring your paintbrush to a point and don't press very hard at all and you get a really thin stripe. Again, when you press hard, you get a thick stripe. And those are the six watercolor techniques that I wanted to share with you today.